Uh, John from the Wall Street Journal. Mr. President-elect, the, uh, the current administration has been criticized in some quarters for uh, taking an ad hoc approach to financial rescues. Can you describe how your new team's approach might differ from the approach that we've had for the last year? Well, uh, I, I don't want to look backwards. Uh, I think that, as I said, we've had an unprecedented crisis. Uh, I, I mentioned in uh, my 60 Minutes interview that I'm sure there are some things that didn't work exactly the way uh, Secretary Paulson intended. He'd be the first to admit that. Uh, some things have obviously helped in terms of stabilizing the financial system. Uh, but what I want to make sure is that moving forward, uh, we are clearly articulating for the American people and the business community what our end goals are. Where are we going? What are we trying to achieve? Uh, and that there's clarity and transparency to our plan. That doesn't mean that there aren't going to be adjustments over the course of uh, weeks or months to respond to changing situations. But uh, I think part of what we've seen is, is confusion on the part of the market sometimes in terms of what the overall uh, direction uh, might be. And we want to make sure that we're providing as much clarity as possible. Uh, the, the other point I would make is that even as we are doing whatever is required to stabilize the financial system, and I think that's a commitment that exists currently uh, in the administration and uh, is going to be a top priority for, uh, for me during the transition as well as uh, once, I take, uh, once I'm sworn in as president. Uh, even as we focus on making sure that the financial system is stable, that we also recognize that a strong Main Street will reinforce and help a strong Wall Street. And then we can't separate those two things. And a working principle for me is going to be, are we uh, looking at, for example, home foreclosures in a systematic way and addressing some of the struggles that are taking place uh, outside of Wall Street, not only because it's good for work and families, but also because it'll help stabilize the financial system. All right. David Jackson. Thank you, Mr. President-elect. I was wondering if you saw the auto hearings last week. I wonder if you think the automakers made a convincing case for some kind of rescue package from Washington. And how do you want to see Congress proceed on that issue? Uh, the auto industry historically has been the backbone of America's manufacturing base. Uh, and it's not just the auto industry. Uh, it's not just the big three. It's also all the suppliers. Uh, all the businesses that, in one way or another, uh, are part of our auto industry that are at stake here. So I've said before, and I will repeat, uh, we can't allow the auto industry simply to, uh, to vanish. We've got to make sure that it is there and that uh, the workers and suppliers and businesses that rely on the auto industry uh, stay in business. Uh, what I also have said is that we can't just write a blank check to the auto industry. Taxpayers can't be expected to pony up more money for an auto industry that has been resistant to change. And uh, I was uh, surprised that they did not have a better thought out proposal uh, when they arrived in Congress. I think Congress did the right thing, which is to say, uh, you guys need to come up with a plan and come back uh, before you're getting any taxpayer money. Uh, and my attitude is that we should help the auto industry, but what we should expect is that any additional money that we put into the auto industry, any help that we provide, uh, is designed to assure a long-term sustainable auto industry and not just uh, kicking the can down the road. Well, uh, the, uh, I think that uh, the auto industry needs to present us with some clarity in terms of the dollar figures that they're talking about. But more importantly, are they describing for us an auto industry that is focused on retooling, uh, understands that we're entering into a new energy economy uh, that is going to be competitive globally? That's the kind of plan that the American people, I think, want to see. Nobody wants to see uh, more job loss. Uh, and uh, I think Americans take great pride uh, in uh, the history of the American automobile industry. 
but taxpayers don't want to see more money wasted. So we we need to see a plan, and when we see a plan, we're going to, uh, uh, I think, uh, be able to shape the kind of assistance package that makes sense. All right, uh, I'm going to take one more question. Peter Slevin. Yeah, President go. elect, how should the uh, second half, how and when should the second half of the rescue money be spent? And are you personally having uh, talks with Secretary Paulson and other members of the administration on that? Well, I, I spoke with President Bush today. I spoke uh, with Chairman Bernanke today. Uh, and let me repeat, we have to do whatever is required to keep the financial system uh, working and capital flowing. That's not important just for the banks. It's important for our entire economy. It's important for small businesses and large businesses alike. It's important for their employees. It's important for retail sales. So uh, my commitment uh, is to do what's required so that our financial system works and credit flows. Uh, President Bush has indicated that uh, he has the same approach, uh, the same attitude. Uh, a lot of authority has already been provided to the administration, to uh, Secretary Paulson. Uh, uh, Chairman Bernanke has authority as well. And we need to make sure that that uh, authority is used forcefully in the coming weeks to stabilize the current situation. Uh, I will make further assessments about uh, whether it's necessary to draw down additional TARP money uh, as uh, the administration and uh, the uh, Treasury Secretary uh, Paulson and Bernanke uh, provide me more real-time information. Uh, but I think what's most important for the American people to understand is that we are united in making sure that the financial system uh, works and operates the way it needs to. Okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.